Hey guys, this is Andy and I'm going to bring you another Photoshop tutorial. Well, this will be my first Photoshop tutorial. Um, give me a second, just change this script to busy. Okay, so what we're going to be creating today is actually this Tron type. And I don't know if you can see it all because of the screen size, but this is basically it. Um, this is Tron, it's all glowy, it looks like actually the Tron titles and ooh crap uh... what you'll need to make this is actually photoshop cs6 or cs6 extended it doesn't really matter but it has to be cs6 because that's the only photoshop with the 3d features that we'll be using okay so to get started uh... what we need to do is we need to change uh... Well, first of all uh, do file new and whatever width and height you want. I'm using 1920 by 1080 with a white background. And then what you want to do is in your background you want to change it to sort of dark blue. For this one I'm using a 07080F and then just control or command backspace <coughs> and it will turn into um, it will turn into dark blue. Okay, so now what you'll need to do, you can do this now or you can do this next. You download this um, font, it's called TR2N. This is the closest Tron font I've been able to find. Um, all the other Tron fonts weren't really that accurate, but this one seems to be the best one for the job we need. So just download that, the TTF, TR2N and then you want to bring out your tool your tool your text type tool and set it around about 550 pixels and tr2n you want to make sure that's there and just type oh that's not right uh, remember to set the color the fill to white just type t r Oh, N. So that's Tron. And you can flick to your selection tool and just drag that into the middle here. Or wherever you want to drag it. Okay. Uh, let me just go into layers here. When you've got the Tron selected, you want to go into 3D and new 3D extrusion from selected layer. And what that does is it extrudes your text. Not everything else, other than just the the layer that you selected to extrude. Okay, um, and now what you want to do is come down here to the bottom where it says infinite light and get this little axis thing and just just bring it forward so it is about there. Yeah, uh, that'll do. Okay. Uh, right downwards and you want to change the shadow to about 60% ok and now what you want to do is you want to scroll back up to the top and go to environment and and roughness oh, here we go opacity 60 and the roughness about 5 if you want completely um, if you want your reflections to be completely clear then just do 0% but I've just put the roughness at 5% for this purpose it's not completely clear it's just a bit maybe a bit misty okay and now what I want to do is want to add a bevel so now we need to click on Tron right here or whatever text it should just be here uh, whatever you've typed and go up to the top where it says shape preset just click this little drop down and hover over here and if you hover over long enough it says bevel just click that one and it gives it a bevel but it's not the sort of bevel we want so we're going to change the extrusion depth to about 50 <coughs> and then we've got to do um, we need to go into here where it says the cap we need to do stuff with the cap ok we change the uh, width to 100%. Is this right? 
that might not be you turn the width to 100 and then uh, here we go there's the cap that's all done and now we need to go back to we need to do the the material so what we need to do is you need to click on tron font uh, front inflation material uh, and then turn the opacity to zero and go to the tron from back here we go tron back inflation material and turn that one the opacity to zero on that one okay so on the f now you know now, now you need to go to tron front bevel material and turn the diffuse color to pure black and then click OK and then the specular you can keep that as the same and then the illumination you want to change it to uh, maybe like a baby blue colour so we're going to use 4FA 3F9 and that's a baby bluish colour would you say? yeah and just click OK on that and you want to change the shine to 75% and the bump to 0 ok and now we need to go on the material so trying to extrusion material, so this is the extrusion the side extrude uh, what we want to do is change the diffuse colour to a brightish blue so we're going to use 0090FF so that's a brighter blue and click OK and now for specular we're going to use a, a another baby blue so try this 00BBFF it's a little bit different it's a little bit lighter and uh, for the illumination a slightly darker blue so for this we're going to use 234F92 so it's to create a dark blue uh, we want to turn the shine to 30% and so we turn the reflection to 100 and then we're going to change the bump to 100 and the opacity to 30 okay and now we're going to uh, put a texture on this bump map so what you want to do is you want to go over to the side of the bump here and click this and click load texture now I've got a texture already on my desktop and it's um, I don't think I can preview it here but it's sort of this um, let me let me let me just cancel this a second. It's this scratchy type of material. It's called glass scratches. I uh, I will upload it to Mediafire. I'll upload it to Mediafire, and then I will put the download link in the description for you. This is quite a high resolution image. So, um, ooh, where where was I? Extrusion material. Yeah. Okay. So you want to go into bump. Uh, you want to load the texture and you want to open it okay and um, because bump uh, bump maps work off uh, light and dark tones we need to because that's not a very good material for bump we need to change it we need to boost the contrast and the brightness so in the bump here we need to click on it again and edit texture and now we're in here we go to layer, new adjustment layer, brightness and contrast. Is that what we do? I'm not sure. Uh, no, it's not. We go to image, adjustment, brightness and contrast. Then we want to click use legacy and 
change the contrast to about 70%. You can see we've got some very light ones, the scratches, and we've got some very dark patches everywhere. So we click OK, and then we want to save this, Command or Control S, save it, and then we flick back into our Tron tab. And that should be all done. So we need to go back to the Tron Extrusion material, and we need to go into the bump options and edit the UV properties. So we need to edit how it maps. So for the UV scale, we change the the U scale. We change this to a thousand, and for the V scale, we change this to ten, I believe. Okay, and yeah, click OK, and it kind of makes it longer in some places and shorter in some other places so it doesn't stretch or whatever okay and now we want to render it and to render it you just click this this little button over here and depending on how fast your machine is or depending on um, depending on how big of an image you've made it the, that the time varies okay so I, th I think that's done now so once that has done, you want to go into layers again and click on Tron. Then you want to go to layer, I believe, layer style and inner glow. I think it's inner glow. Yes. Oh, that's not nice. Okay. So what we're going to have to do is uh, we're going to have to set the colour to a very light blue and almost white so for that we're going to do EBF7FF -F. that's almost white but it is uh, blue it's got a bluish tint to it very sky like colour change the opacity to 100% change the Blend mode to vivid light and change the technique to precise, the source to center, and the size to keep that at 5 and the range. Let's turn it down to 30. Okay, now we want to go on to outer glow, which is second from bottom. And we want to change the colour to more of a neutral blue. So let's change the colour so it will be uh, 0C75D7. So that's a very neutral blue. Uh, click OK. Uh, we want to change the blend mode to linear dodge. I can find that, lean and dodge in bracket add and then I will change the size to 50 and change the range to 100 and there you have it forgot to save it as a PNG remember to save it as a PNG and just click OK Here it is. There is your Tron glowy text. If you want, I think this could have done with a bit more of an extrusion. So you don't have to set the extrusion to 50, you can set it for a bit bit more. But I think that would have added a bit too much glow. But there you go. Um, thanks for watching the tutorial. If you have any questions or if you have any other queries just leave a comment if you liked it leave a like uh, favorite maybe and um, thanks for watching